Hey guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. The program can't start because MSVCP 100.dll is missing from my computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. If you get this error in your Windows operating system, so watch the full video till the end. I am Vikas and you're watching VFX Vikas. Before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel. So now first of all what you need to do is click on ok here after that you have to download the missing dll file for your windows to download it open up your browser and then here search dll hit enter click on the first link which is www.dllfiles.com you can manually open this link by my given link in the description go and open it and then here search for your missing dll which is msbcp 100dll after typing hit enter and then here click on the file name click on it and then this link will open up here in your browser and then scroll down Download the DLL file according to your windows if you have 32-bit windows, download 32-bit windows DLL file if it's 64-bit windows, download 64-bit windows file. Let me show you how to check it. Click on start button and then here tap computer. Right click on computer, select properties. If you're using windows 10, just search for this PC and right click on it, select properties. In windows 7, you have to search computer and then open it. As you can see that I'm using 64-bit operating system. So now I have to download this 64-bit DLL file. Go back to that link and then as you can see that architecture 64 and architecture 32 bit if you have 64 bit windows down the 64 bit architecture file or if you have 32 bit windows down 32 bit architecture file in my pc i have 64 bit so now i will download this file architecture 64 bit click on the download button to download the file now your missing dll file is downloading as you can see that it's downloaded press ctrl j to go to download and here select show in folder and then extract this zip file if you haven't installed winrar in your pc first install it and then extract it right click on it select extract files click on ok after extracting this file open that folder then copy the dll file from here right click on it select copy and then go to c drive windows and then here you need to find system 32 open the system 32 folder and then paste it right click on this area select paste and then click on continue after pasting this file your problem will be solved let's check our problem solved or not Now as you can see that I'm not getting error after opening my Adobe software. So hope you guys like this video. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. If you have any query or question, comment down below.